Tested. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. And I'm Norm from Tested. It is a very exciting day here because we have an expensive, <gasps> stupid, awesome toy here. This is the Parrot AR drone. Like I saw this before. You've you've flown it before, right? Yes. This is at CES and GDC, and now it's in our hands. So this is. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about it, Norm. The Parrot AR drone is a quadcopter that you can control. With that your means it iPod, has four blades. Your iPhone or your iPad. I'm gonna put the battery in because I right. charged it up. We we took it for a test flight earlier today. Right now it's on sale at Brookstone for three hundred dollars. We bought one. That's how much we wanted to play, I mean, test this So, out. this is very light, this is foam, very light, obviously. It's like styrofoam, yeah. Uh, how do you control, how, how long did you charge it, actually? I charge, it takes about an hour and a half to charge, okay. fully, and that gives you maybe like seven minutes of flight, right. judging by our earlier experiences. So, the battery's in, I see red lights. This thing holds on with magnets, so Ooh, basically there's magnets. two foam shells, there's this one, which is the indoor one, and it has the big ring, so that if you whack into the wall or somebody's face or something, you don't hurt anything. This one is the outdoor one. We'll try that uh, well, probably for the full review, not for today's video. I'm gonna set that over there. You ready to take this thing up? Let's go. Okay, so turn it on. The first thing, it's on. The first thing you have to do is that's a camera. That is a camera. The, it has two cameras: one on the front, one on the bottom, right there. You can't. You can probably see it in the shot. Um, so you can switch and see what's below you or what is, you know, in front of you. And it has a, its own Wi-Fi. It's an uh, access point. Access point. So you connect it with Wi-Fi. Right. That's why it works with the iPod Touch and iPad. So I'm connecting this iPod Touch if it shows up here in a minute. You download the, the app in the App yet? Store. It's still booting. Free it looks flight like. app. Maybe the green is on. I don't see it. Uh oh. I'm gonna restart wireless. It's a great video so far, guys. And we're back! Um, I connected it to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna set it down on the floor back behind us. Maybe you can scooch the table out of the way, Norm, so people can see. It's a little bit fiddly, is what we're learning here, because this is the second time I've done this. It's been a little bit problematic both times. We're connected. It's it's uh, checking the firmware version on the drone. It has an a, it has a, actually a USB port on the bottom, so you can update the firmware if they release like new, more stable, yep. more awesome firmware later on down the Activate. road. Activate! Rise! It's alive! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and it just assaulted me. It came me. after you. This is the part of the show where you and I destroy a $300 toy in two Rise. minutes after getting it. Rise. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. It's, whoa, 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 it's flying. I'm not in control. Now I am in control. It's, when you lose connection, it goes into a hover state. And so it just hovers. But now Will is flying it. Is the accelerometer driven? Yeah, so, oh, oh, oh. oh. well that was bad. Okay, so see it's spinning up. You gotta hold the button down to tilt. It's going to ram you. There you go. This and is the best thing ever! It's like, it's like driving an RC car, basically, right? So, you have to figure out, the turning works based on its orientation in the world, not based on its orientation to you, because it has no idea where you are. I can see, I'm gonna fly toward Anna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tilt the other way. Tilt the other way. Bring I'm back. tilting. Okay, so. <laughs> whoa. I got it. Hold on, don't, don't do anything right now. I think I'm probably not supposed to do this according to the rules. Uh, lower the throttle a little bit, please. That's the right one. You just landed it. There it goes. Higher. No, not yet. Gently, gentle movements is the key. What you can't see is that Norm's actually seeing the feed from the cameras on the drone on the iPad, on the iPod Touch as he steers it. You're gonna hit the light, uh, and you can steer it with the with the right stick. So you can rotate it. I don't know how that works. It's crazy. Oh God. Easier okay. raise and lower. Ninja moves. Whoa, don't, don't, oh God. <laughs> don't kill Vinny.
I wonder what the range is on this. Back this way. Oh. The forward end is facing me right now. I, I see through the camera. Okay. This one's one mic. He's going around. I don't feel like you have any kind of control whatsoever over this thing right now. Should we set up so we can do some coverage of the cameras? Alert ultrasound. Alert ultrasound. What's that mean? What? It says alert ultrasound. That means he's about to ram some shit, yo. If you tap the bottom thing, it'll just land. So we'll be doing this pretty much for the next like three or four days. Um, and we'll have a full review at some point in the not too distant future, assuming we don't crash and burn and destroy it, you know, like in the next five minutes. What's our battery like right now, Norm? 45%. So we've already used more than half of the battery. So it seems like, whoa, whoa. whoa. Bring it back. You got it. There you go. Seems like the first thing you're going to do is buy a whole lot of batteries. So for Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye. I'm gonna play with this forever. Mm hmm?